This is a fascinating short story that was first published in 1918. A powerful allegory about the nature of good, evil, and redemption. This is Akutagawa Ryonasuke's The Spider's Thread. One day, Buddha was walking alone by the lotus pond in paradise. The lotuses blooming in the pond were all as white as pearls, and from their golden centers came an indescribable pleasant scent, constantly filling the air around. It must have been morning in paradise. Soon, Buddha stopped by the pond's edge and looked through the gaps between the lotus leaves covering the water surface. Below this paradise's lotus pond was directly above hell, and through the crystal clear water, he could see the river of three crossings and the mountain of needles in hell as clearly as if he were looking through a magnifying glass. Then, at the bottom of hell, Buddha noticed a man named Kandata wriggling among other sinners. Kandata was a great thief who had committed many crimes like murder and arson. However, he once did a single good deed. As he was walking through a deep forest, he saw a tiny spider crawling along the roadside. Kandata raised his foot to crush it, but then thought, No, even though it's small, it surely has a life. To take that life away thoughtlessly would be too pitiful. With that sudden thought, he decided not to kill the spider and saved it. While looking at the state of hell, Buddha remembered that Kandata had saved the spider. Thinking that for such a good deed, he should try to rescue this man from hell if possible, Buddha luckily found a spider from paradise spinning a beautiful silver thread on a jade green lotus leaf nearby. Buddha gently took the spider's thread in his hand and lowered it straight down from the midst of the pure white lotuses to the bottom of hell. It is Kandata at the bottom of hell, floating and sinking in the pool of blood with other sinners. Looking around, it was pitch dark, and occasionally, what seemed to appear from the darkness faintly was at the horrifying shine of the needles from the mountain of needles, making one feel utterly helpless. Moreover, the silence was like that inside the grave, only occasionally broken by the faint sighs of the sinners. It seems that people who end up here, after enduring various torments of hell, no longer have the strength even to cry out. Thus, even Kandata, a great thief, was gasping in the blood of the pool, struggling just like a dying frog. However, one day, Kandata casually looked up at the sky of the pool of blood and saw, from the quiet darkness of the far, far heavens, a silver thread of a spider shining faintly as it carefully descended straight towards him. Upon seeing this, Kandata joyfully clapped his hands. If he clung to this thread and climbed up and up, he could indeed escape from hell, and he might even be able to enter paradise. Then, he would no longer be pushed up the mountain of needles or sunk in the pool of blood. Thinking this, Kandata grabbed a spider's thread with both hands and began climbing up with all his might. As a great thief, he was accustomed to such actions from the past. However, the distance between hell and paradise is countless miles, so climbing up is not easy no matter how much one hurries. After a while, Kandata became exhausted and could no longer climb further. He took a break, hanging from the thread midway and looking down far below. Thanks to his effort, 
The pool of blood where he was previously was now hidden in the darkness below. The terrifyingly glowing mountain of needles was also below his feet. At this rate, escaping from hell might not be so difficult after all. Kandata, while entwined in the spider's thread, laughed for the first time in many years, saying, <laughs> I've done it! I've done it! But then, he noticed countless sinners following him below the thread, forming a line like ants, all climbing up earnestly. Seeing this, Kandata was shocked and afraid, and for a while, he just stood there with his mouth wide open, only moving his eyes. How could this thin spider thread bear the weight of so many people? If it were to break midway, he, who had managed to climb this far, would fall back into hell. That would be terrible. Yet, hundreds and thousands of sinners were climbing from the dark pool of blood, crawling up and dig diligently climbing the shining spider's thread in a line. If something weren't done soon, the thread would surely break in the middle and fall. So Kandata shouted in a loud voice, Hey, you sinners! This spider's thread is mine! Who asked you to climb up? Go down! Go down! But at that, that moment, the spider's thread, which had been fine until then, suddenly snapped where Kandata was hanging. So, Kandata had yet to change. In an instant, spinning like a top, he fell back into the darkness below, plummeting straight to hell. All that was left was the spider's thread from paradise still shimmering faintly, hanging short amid the sky without moon or stars. Buddha stood by the edge of the lotus pond in paradise, quietly watching the whole event unfold. Once Kandata sank back to the bottom of the blood pool like a stone, Buddha resumed his walk with a sad look. Kandata's merciless heart Seeking only his escape from hell and the appropriate punishment he received, falling back to hell, must have seemed shallow to Buddha. However, the lotuses in the pond of paradise paid no mind to such events. The pearl-like white flowers gently swayed their petals around Buddha's feet and from their golden centers, an indescribable pleasant scent continued to overflow ceaselessly. It must be nearing noon in paradise now. <laughs>